Hello my lovely Scorpio, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to have a look what's coming for you December 2022 regarding money, manifestation, business, success, career, finances and all the good things that we really want and need in our lives. Right Scorpio, how are you doing by the way? I really hope you're doing great. Just keep in mind this is not one-on-one -on -one reading. This is a general reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising. So take the messages that do resonate. Hey, Six of Pentacles coming out. And take the messages that resonate and drop the rest. Don't be shy. Join in, subscribe and of course like and comment if you feel that way. Scorpio. Let's dive in. It is amazing month. I have to say uh, we have the stars and moon are aligned. It's all good so far. Looking now. Beginning and middle and end of months, what we have here, and we have nine of pentacles and queen of cups. What a beautiful combination we have, Scorpio. You're really wanting that it that it moment is uh, may have been missing, not no more. Queen of cups is someone who really desires this, she really knows how to nurture her life and nurture the situations to get where she wants to get to. Okay, I'm saying she because it's a female, that kind of energy. And it feels like there's a lot of strong want for independence. Independence emotionally and financially, right? And very often we have money, but we don't have that emotional freedom or emotional kind of empowerment. And those two are coming through saying, yes, this is what I need. This is what I want. And these energies maybe you can apply to your work. And so now we have interesting months, December. And it's really regarding setting goals, long-term goals as well. And 6th of, of December, Mercury goes in Capricorn. And it, Mercury is about the way we speak, the way we talk and think. And Capricorn is regarding your work ethic. It's about how you collect how do you conduct yourself at work and how and it's important to get to the point so if you have certain goals that you want let's say become independent or feeling in, even independent or be feeling that you're more in charge this is the month this is definitely the month as well now however it's interesting that 2022 mercury retrogrades all started in air signs right which are very intellectual very thinking and strategic but they ended in in, in um, earth signs and which is very good because you need a plan you need a practical approach as well to things that you want to do and which is good to see and then 7th of december we have full moon oh my god scorpio full moon in gemini and we just kind of really wanting to have that revolution i want to do this i really want to make free i want to have fun in my life right however the practical plan is needed that's it that's it and then you are fine then you're absolutely fine right because gemini can sometimes run away with with passion for fashion and and without any background how to actually do this however sorry Jim and I mean just behind your back we're talking about you now magician and the star isn't this great it is something that you really it's Scorpio this is some sort of beautiful start for you and you know what luck is on your side this is the one of mostly luckily 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 signed uh start no card in tarot however Lack on its own or talent on its own is not going to do it. It's not going to cut it. No, it's not going to get baby washed. <laughs> you need work, work ethic. And that's what we can learn from Capricorn, for example. We can all learn from one another. And this month is definitely strongly this Mercury effect uh, on Capricorn and on the rest of us as well. It's really going to really teach us a thing or two. It's good to let it go and let new things coming in. Having that balance, reach for the start, don't settle for second best because you are good enough, Scorpio. But you need to work as well. This is a good omen. There is a everything is right in front of you. Things are available. You it's open door. It's like open house. Do whatever you want. But it's your you, don't forget about responsibilities. Okay. It's all great. We know our um, well, our rights, but you need to learn your responsibilities as well. However, your general energy is that you are really mastering something big and universe is granting you that now middle of the month whoa scorpio this is amazing the world card 
and the six of wands like real success and it's like really showing off you're like a real showing offer now jupiter is in jupiter is in aries in 20th december and it is talking about travel and business success abundance and wealth right and really kind of focusing on things that we want to kind of self de development self what we want to do and this this card is kind of like really talking about world is your oyster everything is available everything's possible if you believe that you can right and it feels that you are oozing your confidence there's nothing short of confidence in here and the world is talking as well maybe meeting new people and especially now the mercury is around uh we kind of really talking more in how do we conduct ourselves how we kind of sell ourselves in conversation how we especially at work as well right how we kind of putting putting ourselves across right as a as a brand or whatever it's important you might be meeting people that are well traveled and seeing places and and you might actually moving up the ladder kind of updating your status if if i can say so that in it, it's very important to re remember the um habits there might be some habits that are coming back again uh, that you need to kind of maybe polish it you know so um you will know that you will know which things are maybe holding you back or so because you have completed a certain cycle and this is interesting it is last month of the year as well where are the years gone scorpio i don't know no you have got the recognition this is a recognition either from your work etc or even some sort of success at your business or even life in general you're feeling like top on the world you literally feel like you are on top of the world and fair play to you now we have new morning capricorn setting new goals and so and long-term goals but we have the mercury in retrograde in capricorn 29th december starting which is now we all slow down by the mid-december till first week in january so it's nothing wrong with that because mercury in retrograde will be in capricorn till 18th january yeah that's that sounds like good it's good time of reflection and we all what we do first thing in january putting setting goals and really kind of working on what what we're going to achieve this year what we want right but however this year you <laughs> yes this month and this year you're really finishing on a big bang you're feeling it you're like big bang and boss this is amazing what i do like is king of pentacles is well off person someone who knows been there and back it's kind of like well traveled well traveled person or tra well experienced person and queen of cups is is the one she kind of smooths is you know like she's really kind of um knows how to behave how to talk how to be silent and listen and have these really good networking skills and it's kind of great you know energy combination to have for you scorpion and strengths the leo kind of is coming through and saying look Aquarius we have as well uh, Leo is saying be bold be bold what if you succeed okay and that is this one is absolute epic for you Scorpio like no other this is so superb right let's have a look what we have for you no no there we go And there we go oh my oh my why well, we have magician two magicians this is interesting this reading here i've never seen this many cards for many signs repeating as i'm putting the other uh, tarot out it's like scorpio there's no way for you not to succeed it's up to you it's down to you look he's opening the hand and saying now the ball is in your hand in your side it's down to you to act and take charge of it seven of cups possibilities however keep in mind there could be some foolish people around and trying to tricks to you because sometimes magician can make things happen and disappear and you do not want to buy a cat in a bag however there's maybe some things that in your mind that you would like to achieve and you may be thinking of it before and there's some great possibilities coming your way chariot chariot i think the cancer is coming so many signs it's really mind over matter this must be the mercury influence um and and it kind of does really feel that you need to really kind of really be super focused and not, not expect that everything's going to go smoothly 
but really kind of really self-discipline this is really strong self-discipline boredom sometimes scorpio i know you can get bored and stuff but this is a card of gratitude gratitude is an attitude being grateful for what you have in life money health and wealth etc and knight of, knight of swords now knight of swords is says the drama but it is kind of someone who is really sticks to their gun sticks to their word in a way that they have very strong belief system and they will not back off right and look be mindful of that okay be mindful of that because this month the communication the way you communicate will be very very um important you are watched the way you communicate in the in letters or on the telephone on 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 the one-to-one -one. is super important try to cool off use that queen of cups kind of cool and chill right and same as capricorn might sometimes be uh, very calm and collected get more information and take action so this is really good so we were saying the seven of cups thing there might be something that is coming your way kind of great offers and they could too be look like too good to be true probably are do your due diligence okay have faith in your dreams and balance spirituality and practicality yeah this is definitely talking about dreams and having faith in in what you do people and buckle up this is so so interesting i think you are ready this this month and then for going into the next year is going to be like no other that's for sure that is for sure and you're going to be great people this people networking and the way you work with um with communicating with people is very very important this month and that will really open up a lot of doors for you and buckle up see what happens then right scorpio my lovely scorpio i'm sending you love and light you will need that you will need that thanks so much for being here i love you and leave you and i'll see you in the next reading take care my lovelies